Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. Psalm 136, verse number four. To Him, God alone. To Him who alone does great wonders, for His mercy endures forever. If someone can work a miracle, it is only by God's permission. There are times when God allows even false prophets to do what the Word of God says are lying wonders. Why does he allow it? To test people and see if they will chase after the miracle worker or whether they will stick with the word of God, whose word that miracle worker is contradicting. Will you stick with the word of God, even in the face of miracles? The word of God is the final standard. And so we see that sometimes God allows these lying wonders to test a person's faith to see if it's genuine, because miracles are very powerful. They're a very powerful force, but they shouldn't move anyone away from the Word of God. Stick with it, no matter what. Verse 5, To him that by wisdom made the heavens, for his mercy endures forever. Every galaxy containing multiple Billions, hundreds of billions of stars. Every solar system and planet has been made by God's power and permission and wisdom. God is the only one capable of doing those things because he's the only one who understands how to do it. And what a slap in the face it is to God to suggest that there's no intelligent design in the universe. Verse 6. To him that stretched out the earth above the, above the waters, for his mercy endures forever. That's pretty much how God did it, too, if you read Genesis chapter 1. When God first created the earth, it was all water. And it remained that way until God gave the order for the dry land to appear. So even though the Psalms, including this Psalm, is poetic language, God did spread the land over the top of the waters. It happened when he said, let the dry land appear. Verse seven, to him that made great lights for his mercy endures forever. God put light in the sky. If he had not done that, then no matter what time of day it was, if we looked up, all we would see was black, pure black. No stars, no sun, no moon, nothing, just pure black. What a dismal way to live. Verse 8, the sun to rule by day, for his mercy endures forever. The moon and the stars to rule by night, for his mercy mercy endures forever. The sun, the moon, and the stars were all made for man's benefit. They give light and heat and serve as a clock and as a calendar and a compass too. They were made for God's or for man's benefit. They do not, however, rule over us in the sense of determining what will happen as the astrologers say. And I don't believe for a second that there is life on other planets. The so-called aliens that appear, if you listen to their so-called words and the messages that they communicate, and I believe it's true, they're demonic, pure and simple demonic. The heavens, the moon, the sun, all the stars were made for man. 
And we'll stop right there. Study all the Bible with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. To be a part of this ministry, pray for me, God's Word also, and click the Donate button at the top of the front page at thebibleversebyverse.com. And prayerfully give as the Lord may lead. See you next time on Coffee Break.